Hello everyone, my name is Steve Adel and welcome to another installment of Practical Safe from the Dining Room Table. This is the third and final installment of our series about the program board. The first uh, video we uh, talked about what the program board is and what questions that it answers. Um, second was how do you build and use the program board during PI planning and this video here is now how do you use the program board to support the execution of the PI. Once again, you know, the program board is what we refer to as a big visible information radiator. You know, it displays when features are going to be delivered, the milestones and dependencies. So now, after PI planning, um, we're, we're now beginning the execution of the PI, and during that uh, PI, we come to our first uh, Scrum of Scrums. And uh, while there's a lot of different definitions floating around uh, out there about what the Scrum of Scrums is, and they're all fairly similar, in SAFE, uh, the, def the SAFE definition of the Scrum of Scrums or is, it helps coordinate the dependencies of the arts and provides visibility into progress and impediments. So we'll have our typical um, SO, SOS, we can have our RTE here, talking to all the scrum masters from the various teams on the train and welcoming them. And, you know, the RTE starts facilitating the process, asking the questions of, what have you done since our last meeting? And one of the teams will say, well, we managed to resolve a, a dependency that the uh, Cobras have on us. And one of the things here that I like to do is you notice I like to have that program board in the background and so that we can explicitly go through and say, okay, great, let's remove that dependency from the board to show that it's been resolved and therefore that feature no longer depends on it. And then we can, you know, um, what of course may happen is something else is um, we might discover that we had more dependencies. So uh, at this point, you know, one of the team says, hey, look, we discovered a dependency that we didn't see uh, when we were in PI planning. Well, of course, then we want to put it on the board. So this is something to remember here. The program board is a living document. It is a big visible information radiator that's re trying to reflect the current state of all the milestones, features, and dependencies. And so if you do discover new dependencies, you are going to put them up on the board. The program board is not just a wall decoration. It is a supporting document. It is a supporting big visible information radiator that has huge information on it. So let's now assume, let's follow the time through. We're into iteration two. You know, we're having another um, scrum of scrums and uh, the RT is asking, well, what, what, what's happened? And the, and someone says, well, look, you know, from the, uh, you know, from the Cobra says, hey, feature F1 is done. So we take feature F1 off of the board. And what you're probably noticing here is that feature, you know, ideally as time is moving across the board, dependencies and features are coming off the board, giving us a visual indication that things are getting done. And so uh, something I often do with clients is to make this explicit. If they're using a physical board, we may do something as simple as take a, a piece of cardboard with a weighted piece of string and reflect this is today and what will happen is as time progresses the today moves across the board and what should be happening is what's behind that today line should be disappearing from the board and this gives us a really good fast visual indicator are we making progress as we had planned on during PI planning? Now, this helps make problems visible. So you can see here um, on information security, we have a um, we have a dependency that's well behind the today line. So uh, this is we're now into sprint 1.2. 
Uh, InfoSec was supposed to have that uh, dependency resolved that feature F3 depends on in iteration 1.1, but it's not resolved. Now, realistically, this is something that probably should have been, ha you know, somebody probably became aware of uh, or should have become aware of um, earlier and said, yeah, we have a problem with this. But this little technique here gives us an explicit way to prevent things like that from falling through the cracks and saying, look at, you know, make it visible. Uh, remember one of the safe core values is transparency. This helps make it transparent that there is there is an issue or a potential issue um, starting to emerge. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're at our SOS. You know, of course, the RT is asking, hey, you know, looking at the board here, what's happening here? Um, there's this dependency that was supposed to be resolved in the last iteration that's still on the board. Um, you know, and the, the, some unexpected event may have happened. You know, something like, you know, they got InfoSec got uh, hammered by an, un, an unexpected security audit. So now the question is, does that create a risk for us? Is this is this a problem? And the answer might hope you know might be something as simple as no, no. They assured us that uh, you know this they'll get the job done in this iteration. It's their top priority, and it's it's not a, it's not a big job. You know, but what's also possible is that it could be a major problem. You know, so now the delivery of feature F3 is at risk because InfoSecurity couldn't remove its um, its dependency, and so now the question is, who do we need to talk to? So we actually are able to start the problem-solving mechanism. We get we're able to call attention to this problem. You know, it is you know to be straightforward, it is far too easy for us to pretend that yeah, we're getting behind, but we'll get caught up. Um, this way, we're able to use the uh, program board as that big visible information radiator to tell us, no, there is a problem here developing in the execution of the PI, where it gives us sort of that last chance to see, yeah, it, there is that problem there, and, uh, we, and we, we do need to talk about that. So, the program board, is, in my personal view, is an awesome. It's an awesome, awesome tool. Here's the problem: most of the uh, tooling that we have today at this time, this uh, this video is being made in uh, May of 2020, is less than adequate, if uh, even support for uh, the program board exists at all. Most uh, software tools do have some kind of dependency uh, management, but they do not have any kind of way of making those dependencies visible. Um, some Jira has some plugins, Align and Structure, that help uh, do this. Uh, Rally and uh, version 1 also have some uh, ability to show a program board. Uh, but what you do find in many organizations is they either resort to having a physical uh, board or they ultimately, believe it or not, end up using a drawing tool like Visio to uh, represent the board. So this is, the, this is one of the big impediments to you know, easy use of the board and possibly why many organizations don't um, tend to ignore. I'm hoping what you take away from this lesson is that Ignore you do not ignore the program board during PI execution. That it is a valuable artif artifact for supporting the execution of the PI. So, summarize the videos in the in this. Uh, we've learned why the why the program is board is important. It is a big visible information radiator that helps us under to, uh, resolve issues during uh, program. Uh, program increment planning and during the execution of the PI. Uh, we talked about how that board is built, the routine that people go through, teams will go through to add dependencies to the board. And we've also emphasized the importance of being able to use that P the program board during the execution of the PI. So I want to thank you for, for watching the, this series, and if you have any comments or feedback for me, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could, if you could add those to the comments. Thank you and good day.